This is Scott Spears, and today we remember actor Mickey Rooney, who sadly passed away Sunday evening at age 93. Joining us to remember him is a friend, a Hollywood icon herself, and she happens to be from Ohio, which we like, the legendary Kay Ballard. Kay, how are you? Oh, how are you? I'm very happy to talk to you. Uh, I'm very sad about Mickey Rooney, but let's face it, he... He was phenomenal, and he would be so thrilled at the attention he's getting now, which he would have liked for the last 10 years. Kay, so, for, for those that, for people who don't know, what was your relationship with Mickey Rooney? Well, I met Mickey Rooney in 1947 in uh, Hollywood, and I was just joining Spike Jones's orchestra at that time. And what what did you think of him when you met him? Pardon? What did you think of him when you met him? Well, I was in awe of him because I don't think there was ever a better child actor. I mean, he was just brilliant. He could do anything. He was just superior in every way. What made him so good? He was born with that talent. Absolutely, it came natural to him. He could sing, he could dance, he knew music. He loved to play the drums. He, he was just a little genius. When he, a, you know, when he was not performing a part, what kind of guy was he? He was always generous and very, very sweet. I don't think he ever knew how brilliant he was. He just was. He just was a natural. When was the last time you saw or spoke to him, Kay? I saw him about, well, he was here at Palm Springs uh, for a performance last year. But he was in pretty bad shape at that time. But he just, like in Sugar Babies is when I really got to know him, when he did the musical because I, I knew Ann Miller very well. And he the, together they were magic on stage. The last time you saw him, seeing that he was not in great health, and again being 93, was it a shock Sunday when you had heard that he had passed away? No, it wasn't because he wasn't very well at all in the past few years. So uh, I just, I hope it was peaceful and he deserved everything. He was just a fabulous performer. You know, Kay, unfortunately, when you're in the public eye, your life becomes fodder for other reasons. And the last 10 years had been, as you said, uh, not the greatest... No, I don't think so. I mean, no, I mean, people were... he had problems with with his family, and well, he just no, he's just still very, very lucky that he lived this long to see, and he became very religious. Really. Yeah. Ten years. Yes, he was. The last ten years, you sort of alluded to it there, uh, Kay, and I don't think it's any secret. He had uh, been involved. He was on his eighth marriage to his wife, Jan. <laughs> That's quite remarkable. <laughs> it, it, it was, and he, uh, they had separated. But he never resented anything. He said, I've loved all the women I've married, and I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> and and in the end, it, it was kind of a tragedy that the last big publicity shot for him was this whole elder abuse case, which unfortunately, I guess, happens. Which is always shocking to me. That's why maybe I never had children. I prefer dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I love children, but I'm very happy I never had any. I see very few people that are completely happy with children, especially in show business. You know, it's interesting, Kay. I, uh, we've been remembering Mickey here the last day or so, and we had Marvin Kaplan on. And Marvin said almost the same thing you did, that 
uh, what Marvin said, and I, it's not an exact quote because I don't have it, but essentially he said he felt Mickey died of inactivity. He was no longer getting roles, and this man loved to that's perform. That's true, and I think that's very, very cruel because he was a major talent. Major. Why do you feel that happened to him? Well, it's the young takeover. And they've taken over today, and, and some of them are extremely talented. But I honestly, in my heart, don't feel that they have as much as someone like Mickey Rooney. And they don't like to be, I don't know, it's, uh, I, I just don't know. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, uh, even in today's music, it's very bizarre to me, but I think it's the electronic world that has taken over. One of the interesting facts uh, about Mickey Rooney that's been brought up since his passing is he turned down the role of Archie Bunker. <laughs> he would have been great as Archie Bunker, but of course, Carol O'Connor was perfect. And, and Norman Lear has said in the last few days that as soon as he approached Mickey for the part, Mickey said, they're going to burn you at the stake. I can't do this part. Do you think he might have regretted that? Was he the type of guy who would regret something like that? Well, he was brought up at a time they weren't as free as they are today. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why he, he turned it down. Because uh, it was foreign to him to be cruel in every, any way. Kay, you played one of the had one of the great series of all time and I'm I'm sad that it's not rerun more often, the mothers in law. Um did you ever turn down a role that you regretted? Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you ever turned down that somebody went on to play that was a success? Uh no. <laughs> it's great to hear. And and as we remember it things that other people picked up from that I wish I uh, you know, had to continued with, but no, I never turned down anything. As we're visiting with you, Kay, uh, remembering Mickey, of course you're an Ohio-born actress. We love that here in Ohio, so we want to know, what have you been up to lately? Well, I just did a show called Going Out of Business. Hmm. And I'm 88, so uh, it was a great success, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Would you ever, so still want to work, still want to be out there? Absolutely. Would you ever come back? It's been a while since you've been to Ohio, hasn't it? Uh, yes, it has. I was very hurt because the the Ohio Hall of Fame uh, turned me down, and I thought, well, that's very strange. Since I'm in California, I have my own street named after me, and I have my own thing on the sidewalk, I mean, you know, it, I was very hurt by Ohio because I was so proud to be from Ohio and so proud to know the people that were from Ohio. But in, oh, in Columbus, they, they took great pleasure in sending me a letter saying, you were turned down again. <laughs> I thought that's very strange. That's terrible. That's terrible. I wonder how many people know that. That's a, that's a horrible thing. Yes, it was horrible. That's terrible. Because I was very, very proud to be a, an Ohioan. Well, I, I think you should come back, Kay, just to... Because I know a lot of people in Ohio love you. We'd love to see well, you. Well, my out. family's in Ohio. My sister, my nieces, nephews. Well, you, you, and uh, as I say, my father was very proud to be from Ohio. You, you definitely should come back. Person. You know, he came over from Italy and picked Ohio. You you definitely should come back. We'd love to see you. Thank you so yes, much. Yes. <laughs> uh, back to Mickey here for a second. Kay, how's the public going to remember this legendary actor? All they have to do is see his movies. Young Thomas Edison. And look at the Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney things. Or Andy Hardy. I mean, he was magnificent. A brilliant, brilliant talent in show business. I've asked this of people, Kay, and, and uh, it's, it's a little 
touchy, but with the last 10 years of Mickey's life, I think it's um, important to ask. Do you think he had a happy ending? No, absolutely not. And uh, as I say, he never regretted marrying the women he married. He never regretted giving them money. That's where all his money went. And as some of his children, uh, well, I don't know, I read about something. One of his children took all his money at the end. So I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. It, it has been echoed by uh, Marvin Kaplan in the interview. I guess she, he had seen uh, Mickey at uh, Sid Caesar's funeral. And Mickey's daughter had said that, uh, so I'm not talking out of turn here, that Mickey was had no money left. Which is kind it's of sad. It's very sad. It is sad. First of all, he, was never, uh, he never got residuals for the things he did do. Now today, someone comes along and they, more than if they if they miss if they fail American Idol they make more than Clark Gable did, which is really funny. It's just it's amazing how the world has changed. You know, Kay, I, I know you're such an honest person, so I'm going to ask you this, and I don't think Mickey would mind this. And and he went to Congress and and lobbied against elder abuse, which gave a very passionate speech there at the end. So I think it's okay to talk about this. Um, People think if you live in Ohio, Kentucky, Chicago, uh, any of these middle states, when you think of an actor, Mickey Rooney, Kay Ballard, uh, people out in Hollywood, they live these glamorous lives. I think people would I find... I don't think anything is ever glamorous, really. They, they lived a, a life that they loved doing, show business. They loved entertaining. I certainly was in it because I loved it. But today, if you're not a size zero, except for Melissa McCarthy, who deserves everything, she's wonderful. Uh, you know what I mean? It's um, it's a different world. That's all. That's all I can say. Do and I accept it. <laughs> <laughs> do you still get offers, Kay? Do do scripts still? Oh, come? I do occasionally. Good. Good. And I wouldn't do some of the things they ask you to do. That's exactly what Mickey felt. Some of the things they ask you to do today, I would never do. With somebody like, I think this is um, interesting because people see Betty White because she's kind of become the poster. Oh, girl. she's wonderful. Absolutely. So I think they think people like Mickey Rooney, Kay Ballard, um, people of that. Oh, I'm glad you put me in that category. Well, I, absolu I absolutely do. Uh, are, are getting roles and are doing things and find it hard to believe that they aren't coming along. What do you think? Well, like, for instance, Shecky Green is one of the most talented people I've ever seen, and he doesn't get offered roles, which is shocking. Because he was, uh, he just did a show recently. He was absolutely hilarious, funny, without ever saying, you know, uh, I mean, his language was perfect. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> what wouldn't you do, Kay? If a script came across and this was the part, what wouldn't you do? Where do you draw the line? Well, I draw the line that some of the things they ask you to do, like be seen nude or, or well, like, even if I were young and had a re gorgeous body, I just wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do some of the things they do. And... Um, I think it's much better when they left it to the imagination. <laughs> I, I, I think you might be right. I think a lot of people might agree. Well, Kay, it's been great talking and remembering Mickey Rooney. Right. talking to you, and remember, I have not had elder uh, abuse. I've had dog abuse. <laughs> Of it. Well, Kay, like I say, we're, we are proud to have you from Ohio and want you to come back anytime you'd like. You're a pleasure. And I'm proud to be from Ohio. Thank That's you. It. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.